Oh, well, this is my second part of my childhood. You know, when I was a kid, I, my mother would always be the only one, always be the one taking me to Disney World, be with my grandfather. Well, my mother's father. It corrupted me, and I lived the life. You know, I mean, as a child, I was on Ritalin, Adderall. But that virus totally got me off Adderall, because it was so as a zombie. You know, as a child, I didn't, I had fun and not so much fun. I've been through abuse, man, tortured. You know, my father's never been around for my birthday. Not as much when I was a kid. My father used to pick on me a lot. I've been chasing around with knives. I've been, I have, I've been through a lot of horrible things. I was a child. You know, when I was 12 years old, I took her to my, my teacher's house in her car. It, it was horrible. I, I've been through a lot. When I tried it, but I survived them all. I used to wear a brace on my leg when I was a kid, and people used to throw rocks at me. You know, it sucks. My father would abuse me. I, I my father was in the Navy, coming home drunk. I I seen a lot of horrible things. I seen things I wish I never seen. I did things through my whole childhood. I even learned that I was allergic to Sam Paco. Chlorine. I, I learned from a lot of things. So I can't even put my head in snow without bringing out the rash. Pollens make me wheeze. You know, when I was 14, my father came in my room, but his name wrapped right around my sheet. And I had to sleep in the living room hiding. Thank goodness. Nothing happened. Uh, but anything else. But then my mother divorced my father. When I was 14. Because when I was 15, that's when we. Decided to move on and. Move to Mar move out of Mary and move down to Florida. I finished my whole high school. I finished the rest of my high school year down here in Florida. I have no grandparents left. They all died. I hardly have any of my family left. I'm thankful I still got some left. But yeah, but that's pretty much it.